Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Tree. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to answer the question like explain about your project or tell me about your project or have you done any projects like that. If interviewer asks you any questions like this, then how to explain like what are the things that you need to include about your project. All those things I'm going to tell you in this video. And this works for almost of all the top companies on all the normal any company any technical interview in, in in any interview if you're asked to tell about your project then you can happily tell all these things okay so now let's get started with the video and if at all if the interviewer asks you uh, like have you done any projects yet then you can just say yes and uh, don't start telling completely about your project since he did not ask you to explain he just asked you have you done any projects right then after that he'll definitely ask you to explain about your project then you can go with the explanation part so let's get started with the video so first actually what is their intention in asking the question why are they asking you about the project what do they want to know what the check is they'll check your project management skills how well you're able to manage the project that means after joining the company when you're allocated a project then how do you manage that and how do you overcome the challenges in your work after joining the company when you're working you'll be facing some difficulties you'll be facing some challenges how you will overcome all those things and leading skills how well you can lead the team or how well you can lead the project how you can convince the members in the team how you can make all the members in the team to work so all those questions also they all those things also they'll be checking your problem solving skills your approach in which way you're going see for every question we will have solution right uh, in, in, in if we speak in the language of programming languages we will have a best case solution we'll have a worst case solution like that so your problem solving approach how it is like you're going in an efficient way or how you're going in which way the your problem solving skill is in an efficient way or you're going in too lengthy process or they will check all those things as well and what is your role in the project what is your contribution towards your project what you did whether you did the documentation part whether you did the uh, presentation part or whether you did the what background work or what you did in the project also they'll be checking done so after this project introduction yeah so when you start telling about your project the very first thing that you have to tell is your project title and the second thing you have to tell is your project description so if you suppose let us take your uh, doing an app uh, similar to youtube let us take so uh, we have developed a video streaming app or we have developed an audio streaming app like that and what is the project description what else you can do in the app in youtube what you can do you can watch videos you can uh, upload videos you can watch shots which were recently uh, added uh, you can post on your community tab you can uh, contact them through uh, comments like that all those things whatever what all you can do in your project you can you can include there and what is your motivation to choose that product uh, project suppose let us take an example of a project which is something related to heart disease prediction or something like something related uh, related to the health of the human body then uh, so many people are dying because of heart diseases so without a uh, sudden they are getting a sudden heart strokes and all by my project my with my project so they, they can be detected uh, and precautions can be taken like that you can explain what is your so in that view i choose this project like something what is your motivation to choose that particular project you can explain and what are your aspects in the project that means what the different parts you have in your project uh, gathering the information from the internet writing the code uh, all those things you can what what in which parts you did first what you did then what you did then last what you did like that you can tell everything and application of project by relating it to real life examples as i said uh, hard disease prediction just now i said right so how you can uh, what is the application of that it is used to predict the heart diseases or it is used to uh, predict the heartbeat whenever heartbeat fluctuates it gives us a notification like that something uh, will be there right so you can relate it to real life example if suppose we have a 60 or 70 year old man or a, uh, our grandfather or our grandmother in our house then how uh, they can be benefited from that like that by relating it to your real life examples you can uh, explain them and what are the tools and technologies you used in that whether you use machine learning or whether you used uh, what you can say anything what data science or big data or cloud what is the technology that you used and what are the tools that you used on which tools you have worked and also like what is the programming language you have used 
and you can see about all those things so whenever you're telling about tools and technologies used or programming languages used make sure that you know something about them suppose if you say uh, in our project we use technologies like uh, machine learning neural networks we have this then he'll ask you what is machine learning then you must be able to say like uh, human behavior is mimicked that is what machine learning means you must be able to say that and if you ask you what is neural networks you should be able to say that what is artificial neural network all that things if you are telling something make sure that you know something about that so that even though if the question is posed you can answer it okay and programming language is used done so and after that he may ask you some project related questions also uh, that, that means from your project what are the challenges that you faced in your project like um if any one of your team member is not cooperating with you or if any one of your team member is sick and he's not able to uh, come accompany you then in that case what you'll do uh, what was the challenge how you overcame that challenge and who helped you to overcome that challenge all those things he will ask you and what is your role in the project and any do you think do you have any drawbacks in your project he will ask then you can say if you are feeling that really there are any drawbacks then you can tell him if you, if you think that there are no drawbacks in your project then if at all the interviewer points out so uh, so this is the drawback in your project then you can say okay sir i'll definitely work over it i'll definitely try to uh, improve it i'll definitely try to enhance it something you can say like that okay but don't uh, you know tell something in opposite to the interviewer just don't give him a counter okay if you really think that the drawback which the interviewer pointed out is not apt uh, that means it is not in your product then you can say sir no sir actually this is like this maybe um, it is like that you can just convince them okay so that's all for this video uh, i hope this video is helpful for you guys uh, if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section so first what you do you start with your project title just tell them what is your project title your project description that means what is your project mean to do and what is your motivation like what is the situation that has inspired you or what made you to choose that topic and what are the paths in your project what you did first then next what happened then next 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 like that and in some cases they may ask you what is what duration of your project as well how many months or how many weeks you took to the, do this project also they'll ask you so but don't say one day two days okay no project can be done in one or two days done and application of the project by relating it to real life examples so that it will be more realistic so that the interviewer uh, will be will get more interest to listen towards your project and what are the tools you use technologies you use and make sure that you know something about that suppose you say that I have, we have used pandas library then he will ask you about what is pandas library why you use pandas library what is the use of it when compared to other libraries so whatever you're saying whatever the each and every word you're saying make sure that you know something about that and what is the programming language that you have used um for example, I'll tell you, in case of programming languages also, in my resume, I have mentioned programming languages like C, C++, Java, SQL. I have not mentioned anything about Python. So, But actually, my project is based on Python. So the interviewer may ask, in your resume, Python is not at all mentioned, then why did you do a project on Python? Like that, he may ask. In that case, what should be your answer? Your answer can be like this. Uh, since Python is trending technology right now, and Python is very efficient, the code is very... So I am currently learning python for my project purpose like that's something you can explain them okay so be very confident and uh, be very genuine don't make that know where the interviewer should catch you know where the interview should get a doubt on you okay be very confident be very genuine uh, make sure that your communication skills are good with the interviewer your uh, the way you speak with sh should be very formal, should be very polite, not so arrogant, okay? Not so arrogant or don't show your negligence or anything, okay? All the best for your interview if you're attending in the next few days. And that's all for this video. I hope the video was helpful for you. If yes, hit the like button and also let me know in the comment section. If you're still having any doubts, let me know in the comment section. I'll also give you my Telegram group uh, link and Instagram link and Gmail link. All contact details in the description. You can contact me through them. And thank you for watching the video. Let's meet up soon in the next video. And subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Thank you for watching the video.